Hello everyone, I'm FTA. And I'm Tron John. And we're here to uh, travel back to the future. Get it? Like uh, that movie! No, we're just... We're, we're, this is the third time we're playing the level, so technically we're going back... To the future. It, it is the future. We're going back to the future. To, uh... Bert Scott! <laughs> to the uh, world of uh, Spider-Man 21 Gigawatts. Um, to fight uh, Dr. Octopus. Dr. Puss. Dr. Puss. That could be misconstrued. <laughs> Dr. Octopus. <laughs> Terra Strong. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the future to fight Terra Strong. And here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny for? <laughs> here we go. Uh. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's probably what broke my PS3. <laughs> was a spamming this. So yeah, you know, the final, uh, the, uh, final 2099 world, and, uh, Tron John, what are your thoughts on this level? I don't remember this level. You're fair enough. <laughs> I think... Hold on, let me think. So, Scorpion was uh -oh. his fragment to someone here. At one of the I think this level is what... Nope! Never mind, that was Goblin. Goblin's level made me quit the game. So, yeah, so did you play this one? I think so. I don't remember. Oh god, this is maybe something I should have brought up. That this artifact is an energy source of almost immeasurable power. I like this because this is, uh, as you said, it's uh, Tara Strong and she's, um, she's kind of doing a, a, a typical voice for her, I feel. I think this is one of her more unique. It's because it kind of sounds like her regular voice does. Yeah. It's like she's just doing kind of, of like a like a, a posh proper um, version. Yeah, I feel like I've heard this before. So, what's the plan, have one? Not here. Mm. Somewhere else. You, or I could explain everything and then kill you. I think I'll just kill you. I think Doctor Octopus and um, Twenty Nine Turner had the best back and forth of any hero and villain in the yeah. game. Mm -hmm. There's a running gag, we'll get to it in a minute, where like, Spider-Man just goes meh. It's like everything she does and it drives her crazy. <laughs> Again, uh, Dan Gooberson's um, performances. He, he, he may give, he may be my, my favorite voice actor in the game. Uh, yeah, I can, I, 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 I can agree with that. And so this suit is, it's called Flipside. Um, and we Please were, don't make me explain it because I I don't. I don't. Yeah, I was just gonna say we were just on the uh, the uh, we probably uh, should have read page, that. Yeah. And we should have read it, but we didn't. It's flip side. I mean, I this probably isn't. If it, I'm not sure if this is actually related to uh, 2099. You gotta die. It speed is. up. Speed up. Uh, really? What? Oh, you act like you've never died. Use you just speed, released the vulture video. You just use the speed up. The slowdown! I didn't... Oh, the slowdown. Yeah. What's there for, you big goomba? I think there may be an achievement for not getting hit by one of these things, but... You know, I've already failed that. You've already died! Uh, good job. Good job, TJ. You're the reason why people put thumbs down on our videos. Whoa, people put thumbs down on our videos? I think so, probably. I don't remember seeing any of those. <laughs> <laughs> Look this image of you now going... Video by video, and every time there's a thumbs down, you cry about it. I mean, yeah. Welcome Why did you bring that up? <laughs> I just want people to like me. I think this is the. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen one of those before. No, you haven't. I don't really have. I love this. I will say, um, Doctor Octopus. It the level. I like the level design. is very simple. There's just four rooms all connected. You have to go into each room to kind of disable a uh, power. Oh yes, of thing. course. I remember that. I brush with the um. It's kind of weird how you said Goblin made you stop playing this. Uh, this level. I hope. I hope it was Goblin. This this level actually made me stop playing for a while because the. Um, oh god! Then I think it might be the this level. the final boss fight confused the hell out of me, and I couldn't defeat her. I uh, I don't know where to go. Oh, 
I guess it's gonna tell me where to go. Yeah, it's almost like what was the point of having that sequence there? Yeah. Just go straight to the cutscene, you know? So I, I, I never one of those small little things which is like, why did you do that for? Oh, okay. So the tentacles show me where to go. I've seen this, uh, I've seen, I've seen this hentai before. <laughs> Speaking of hentai, uh, what is your favorite version of a duck duck plus? Um, I would say the um, 616 one. Hmm. Well, if you, you know, as, as we've done, and because uh, this level is pretty much just, you know, fight things, go into a room and disable stuff, not too many plot specific things we need to talk about, but um, so as we've done with the previous um, uh, bosses, TJ, if you want to maybe explain a little bit, go back to the beginning and where Doc Ock came from. Uh, okay, so the the uh, original Doctor Octopus is uh, is a guy that uh, was doing a experiment with uh, nuclear fission, and in order to work with the uh, the dangerous uh, components of that, uh, he built these mechanical arms that he wore uh, in a harness on his back, and one day the reaction became unstable. And there was a giant explosion at the uh, facility where he was doing his, his experiments. And the harness fused uh, to him. Which was it, which is weird because in uh, subsequent iterations of him in the comic, uh, it, they're not attached at all. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Because um, I think the very next time that he shows up, uh, he's in the prison cell. And the guard's like, hey, not so tough without your arms, are you? <laughs> and then uh, he's just like, oh, well, I can control them mentally. <laughs> and then they, they, they come yeah. to him. <laughs> <laughs> but again, it's, um, I love that his name is Otto Octavius. Otto Octavius, yeah. It's like, yeah, uh, Stanley had, uh, had a thing for, uh... Actually, hold on. That type of, that, that type of name, you know. Yeah, uh, alliteration. Yeah, alliteration names. Yeah. Uh, Peter Parker. Which I, I, I will say, I, I know a lot of people dislike... Big Bang for the fact that in the, there's an episode where um, Stanley was in it, uh -huh. and they they bring that up, they like line up the, the meeting, and the Raj character brings like, why is he so lazy with names? You know, he's like Peter Parker, Scott Summers, and you know what's the worst one? J. Jonah Jameson Jr. <laughs> that's, like, that's kind of funny. I'll give him that. That's kind of a funny gag. True. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think even he said, I think Stan's going to that. Uh, he had. There were so many characters; it was easier for him to remember them if they, if they, you yeah. know. I think that there was an interview. I feel like Spider-Man had the most, though. You know, I, well, I mean, this in terms of a lot, lot of the characters, you know, the, you know, Peter Parker, Bruce Banner, Scott Summers. I know, but know, um, what I'm saying is that Matt Murdock. What I'm saying is that Spider-Man's universe had the most characters with uh, alliteration. Really, so there's, there's, there's Peter Parker. Robbie Robertson. Robbie Robertson. Randy Robertson. Randy Robertson. J. Jonah J. Jameson. J. Jonah Jameson. John Jameson. John Jameson. What, what does the J in J. Jonah Jameson stand for? J. What, like J-A-Y? Yeah. It's because like Homer Simpson. <laughs> From uh, this day forth, Homer J. Simpson would be known as Homer J. Simpson. <laughs> yeah, it, it is J because he's, like you, like, uh, you said from, I don't know where to go... Like you said from the Big Bang Theory, uh, it's, it's J. Jonah Jameson Jr. Because his father's name is J. So it is J. Jonah you, need to, you need to turn on the thing. What thing? Go up there. Okay. Oh. Uh, I can't hear what she says. Yeah, my bad. Basically, every time you destroy one of these, she just kind of goes, eh, you're, you're nothing, I'm going to win, I'm going to win. It's like, you do it as I'm getting closer and closer to defeating you, right? Just going just to say. But yeah, so, um, Doc Ogg, you know, probably one of... Oh, what I was going to say yeah. is that, um, it's a tie. My my f favorite iteration it could nope. either be... You need to go to lab two. That one. Yeah. Uh, my favorite iteration is probably 616, but superior, or not superior, Spectacular Spider-Man. Spectacular, we'll, we'll get to him. I'd like to go through these in chronological order, but we'll okay. get to Spectacular. That's an amazing Dr. Octopus. Um, I like this, like this, <laughs> this thing, these kind of things are funny. It's like, these super villains are meant to be smart, but they're gonna, 
We're gonna use this giant arm in a place where these things you can it can get hurt on. Ah. You know. You know, so, so like, like like that that happens. After yeah. that happens the first time, I feel like maybe we don't we don't use the arm no more. You know, maybe maybe we're we're good good with uh, using the arm to fight. So then, uh, you know, what's about um, Doctor. So like, if you know, it, like, so, so certain super villains, uh, sorry, certain superheroes have a have a um, un undeniable like main arch villain. Uh -huh. Superman, Lex Luthor, Batman, Joker, you know, like, X-Men, Magneto. Mm -hmm. Spider-Man doesn't really have, like, a real end, though. I think it's... If people, if people were going to pick I one, it, say... it would probably be the Goblin or Octopus. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. Because I think it's, um... The, and I, and we'll, we'll get to him, but the voice actor for Spectacular in one of the um, interviews with him, he was like, you know, um, Stan Lee once said it, and, and uh, I completely agree with him that, you know, Dr. Octopus is... You know, Spider-Man's greatest villain. Hey, Spider-Man, follow me. I'll help you stop. <laughs> this, guy, was, this guy's like, I'm gonna stand here. And, uh, I, I was about to say that that I, I think that Doctor Octopus is his his greatest villain, but I think you're right. It is it is it is a toss up between Green Goblin has that personal connection. Yeah. You know, um, that's actually one thing. You know, I think it was a Doctor Octopus appeared in like the you know the '60s cartoon and a lot of the earlier cartoons, but. No, you know nothing really stands out. I mean, a, a, a lot of the characters, I changed those um, those early cartoons were pretty weak. You know. Yeah. Well, one thing I liked about the '90s show, um, that a uh, friend to the online fan everywhere, John Semper Jr. did, was he added a, a element of um. <laughs> Into the internet everywhere. I like how we always talk about him in the future parts. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, one thing that he did is that they added a thing where um, Octo Octavius had been a uh, teacher of Peter as a child. Yeah, they. Uh... Dude, you have, you have to protect the scientist. If he dies, we go bad by shit. Yeah, um, which was which was a, a nice thing. You know, I think. The the uh, the nineties show, I think Doctor Octopus started out really strong in that show. He was like he was like a really he had a really he had a really dumb design. True. I, I, I don't, I don't think, like that power. I don't right. think anyone liked because because he was like big and muscular. Like that's not Octopus. You no. Know? Like he's yeah. he's like he. The octopus is like you know to, kind of like a lot of Spider-Man villains. He's brains and brawn, but Otto Octavius himself is a wimp. Oh yeah. You know, which is um. Again, which is why I have a slight issue with Sp my only complaint about Spider-Man Two is that, is that I think I've said before, but there's multiple times when you see Spider-Man flat out punch off the person in the face. Yeah, that should knock him out. Yeah, you know, that should completely knock him out. Um, yeah, uh -oh. he would he would never let him do that. Like that's the thing. They see that that's the thing, and that, that's why I like. I like it in Spectacular. Like Octopus normally does get knocked out after like one hit from yeah. Spider-Man, but like it's. It takes him off for Spider to get like he normally has to distract Octopus first mm -hmm. before he can get hit in. Um, what it's like the thing about um, Octopus in the '90s uh, was he starts off as one of the strong, like one of the best villains. Towards the end, end of the series, he, he just becomes like like a henchman for Kingpin, and it's like, oh come on! You have to stay with him, dude, from the beginning. You have to. You have to no, I, he didn't die. I died. Oh, you did? I think so. You suck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I like talking about Spider-Man, so I just, I just, I just get too distracted. I like it to Spider-Man. <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't, I, you know, Octopus really shouldn't be a lackey for anyone. No, not no. at all. That's why that didn't really, that didn't really work that well. Um, I mean, come on, he, he, he formed the Sinister Six. Then the cartoon show was the uh, gameplay. Oh, that's. Uh... Hey, you say that in um. In spectacular, it was all it was all tombstone. It was? Yeah. I don't he breaks him out. Remember, he breaks him out. Uh, he prison. sets it up, but like he sets. It up. I mean, in season two, it becomes Octopus is in charge. No, but what I'm saying is that like uh, it, it was still their choice to like like Doc Ock was like you know let's go get Spider Man. Just because just because uh, Tombstone acted as the uh, catalyst doesn't mean that. He was like, I want you guys to form a team. 
Well, no, I, I think it, that was that was that was part of the that was part of the plan. I mean, it's the, they did the same in the '90s show where Camping breaks them all out of prison, and then you know they form they form a group then because he's like you know I like I got you out of prison, I can send you back there. It's kind of the same thing with Tombstone. Don't really have that discussion, but that you can't really say Octopus was in charge of that. I mean, he's season two, you can, and like Octopus kind of takes. A, a leadership role in you know in the first season, but in terms of the formation of the group, that that's all Tombstone. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, and so um, you know, the first you know again start off in in Nanti show, start off a bit. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Start off great, end up a bit. Nah, 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 nah. Spider Man Two, the movie. Like it. It's my it, it's that that's the only uh, tolerable uh, Tobey Maguire movie to me. It is. Out of all, out of all of the uh, movies to feature Spider-Man, it is by far the best movie. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll, uh, I, I, I said that specifically for you. It is the best movie to feature Spider-Man. It does not necessarily feature the best on-screen Spider-Man. Speaking, that of would of course be the train wreck that is the Amazing Spider-Man Two. Um, I just. That just has the best Spider-Man moments. I just, I can't. And I, I, I agree with you, but that's, but like I. As a whole, the first, the Spider-Man Two is, is a much better movie. Okay, that's fair. Which I, I, I like Doctor Person. That they made him, they made him human. They made him sympathetic. You, uh, you know, you, you understood what he was doing. Yeah. It that kind of started a thing that um, the kind of the one aspect of Spider-Man Two that's kind of corny is the notion that the arms are controlling him. Yeah, I don't that, like. I, I didn't, like I that didn't at get all. why they did that. I mean, it, they don't go over the top of it, you know. No, and, they and, don't. And like but they, 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 they explain why they set it up, so it doesn't come out of nowhere. Yeah. But it's still just a bit like, really, the arms are gonna take over his head, mind? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Alf, uh, that, that being said, Alfred, Alfred Molina does it. Oh, he's, he's amazing, oh amazing, amazing as as, so uh, as octopus. Um, you know, it's weird though. Like as 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 weird as that is, I I buy that to me. Explains how quickly Octopus goes from hero to, to villain in Spider-Man 2. That's my one issue with Spectacular Spider-Man. In the Doctor Octopus episode, mm -hmm. I feel I feel Octavius decides to go completely evil far too quickly. Uh, I wish no, more... it's 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 built up it's, over it's, the first couple episodes. It's it's built up, but his initial reaction is just like, I will not be weak. It's like that's a bit like I wish that felt a bit rushed to me. I, I don't. I didn't. I didn't feel it was rushed. I think the 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 thing that you're missing is that like, you know, he was having an especially bad day, and then I've been good. That breaks your heart, man. It does. Yeah. I've been good. And then just like you know, all of his safety protocols, quote unquote, all of his safety protocols uh, fail, and then uh, he's he's hurt. So, you know. It, it's just, and I think I think also he's he's lashing out because um, because he's alive he's going to be in trouble for what happened. Well, no, also, but to say that the reason why I bring that up is because they kind of of reference Spider-Man to they have that chip on his on his wow, spine get melted into it. Yeah. Which I, I always took that as a as a thing from uh, Spider-Man too because of course in the um, in the origin episode that is. The, the writer of the first Spider-Man movie could, could kind of sue for that because that is like literally just direct l scenes lifted from the movie. Hey, you know, I bet Greg Wiseman has he did comment on it. He did like he did say once, you know, like he kind of got some not terrible reviews, but people did note that it was kind of a bit too like word for word, you know, scene for scene, the origin in the um, in the first movie. Yeah. You know. But it was fine because we got to have um, Edward Asner as Uncle Ben. Yep. Oh my God. Hmm. So good. So good. So good. But, you know, so, and, and, and that they, show. Uh, God, that so, show. I know, right? So good. But going back to Spider, I I loved it. Um, you know, one of the, some of the smaller things I, I like about Spider Man, well, too, is that that they show Octopus building his lab. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he does. He doesn't. He doesn't just have like a like a superhero hideout. Like he goes like. He, like, he thinks, like, what well, he needs money, so he goes, he goes to a bank and steals money, finds an abandoned warehouse, and sets up shop there. Yeah. I like that. Like, it, it's realistic. That's what you would do if True. you wanted to make that machine, you know? And 
I like the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the power, or was it, the power of the sun in the palm of my hand. So that's like the line they keep repeating yeah. over and over again. But that was good. And I, I like the fact that, you know, he, um, Octopus, he kind of had an arc at the end, but he decided, you know, he was going to, he's not, he's not evil. Kind of sacrifices himself. Yeah. That was a problem in the Raimi series, how it's killing off all their villains. Like, great, like, Norman Osborn, like, you get it because that's, that's been established in the books. Yeah. You know. There was a thing with Avi Arad was like, you know, we was talking about um, Octopus's death in, in Spider-Man 2 and it was like, you know, we, we try to do what, what's, uh, what works best for the film so, you know, it works best for this film for Octopus to die because um, we don't know what we don't want to do with his character after this scene so we're just going to kill him. <laughs> In a, I think in a second, um, mutants will start breaking out. To, there you go, that's just, just kill everything. Just do everything that moves, TJ. Just like in real life! Which I guess takes us to one of the best cartoons. Scratch that. One of the best shows ever made. Spectacular. Spectacular Spider Man. But we've been already been talking about it. Yeah, but you know, we, we try to we, we did jump around, but now TJ, now we, we we can just talk about how amazing Octopus is in that show. Oh God, what is his name? I can't remember what. Peter I, McNichol. Yeah, McNichol. Oh my God. You know, you know who you know what else he's known for? What? Yeah, no, she can go. Well, oh, yeah, well, no, no shit. I knew that. I don't even know why I said what. <laughs> yeah, what you're doing is wrong. Everything you're doing is wrong. I want you to know this. <laughs> I want you to know yeah. this. Hey, where's that, uh, where you from, Spanky? The Upper Vest the, Side. The Upper West Side. The Vest. The Upper Vest Side. <laughs> the tooth fairy's about to get that was good. No, he did. He's an amazing Spiegel. voice. <laughs> Bring me the child, my lord. Can I have, uh, sentence some woman? <laughs> I'm like, I don't understand how Dana just keeps getting herself into these situations. I know, right? Whatever Bankman's around, trouble happens. Maybe I should just avoid Bankman at all costs. Uh, yeah, probably. Well, I mean, just the fact that, like, okay, so you got Lewis in the first movie. Lewis Tully, yeah. Uh, and then, um, the guy, you can totally tell that guy, um, that she is in the, uh, like the, 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 the orchestra with. The cello player. It's the father, yeah. probably, yeah. No, 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 I didn't mean that. Well, well, I guess well, you could, you could. In, in the commentary for Ghostbusters 1, Howard Ramer says he's probably the father. They, they don't uh, confirm, but he's, he's like, they, 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 that's probably who the father is. What I was going to say is, so you have that scene where, like, Bankman shows up yeah. to uh, to tell her about um, about Gozer. How are you today? So you look a bit puffy in the chest. You might want to go inside. No, no, no. Well, uh, the, the cello player guy is just like, um, who was that? Like, he was <laughs> jealous of Bankman. So I'm like, I'm like, wow, she can't go anywhere without being hit on. <laughs> not at home, not when she has a problem, not at work. True, but it's a corny weaver. I mean, yeah. Mwah. But I mean, there's an alien chasing her, and eventually it's going to catch up. No, 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 it ain't. Oh, you mean not all movies take place in the same universe? No. Oh. This, this isn't Marvel. Um... Do I drop them off up here? Yeah, you gotta go over there. Oh. Do I have to protect them or do they? No, just... no, 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 no. You have to, you just have to just protect them all because there's three of them. Thank Christ. You have to protect them. How do I get that? Okay. Oh, can't secure. get that emblem. This is like that part in Star Wars where uh... <laughs> <laughs> Darth Maul's just there. Kora, dos vida. Dos vida. Dos. I spent eight years on watching Gulag. To sing part in Star Wars <laughs> Episode One, the du Phantom Menace, the Duel of the Fates, Duel of the Fates, <laughs> where character Darth Maul <laughs> acts like dog behind, yes. uh, uh, acts like tiger behind, uh, behind uh, fence. I use word character in quotation marks. He has no character. And Qui Gon Jin, who has no character, <laughs> he uh. He meditates, even though yeah. he's about to die in the next two seconds. <laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi. Stars, we done ya! Ah, good. 
<laughs> Looks like I'm hitting my uh, uh, one thing, one funny thing every ten sentences. <laughs> <quote. laughs> Come on! Come on! <laughs> Leave town! No. Okay. I will say though, you know, I, I said it at the beginning. I like how I like the simplicity of the level design in this level. Yeah. I like how it's just kind of like four corridors. It's nice because I think some some of the bigger levels, like um, like uh, Sandman, especially, um, I get lost in there sometimes. You know, it's, it's very. It's kind of it's it's not the not, not the best design in terms of like progression. So like this one, yeah. though, just you know, there's four corridors. Go do your thing, come back and fight. I think in terms of level design, this game is pretty weak overall. Just because I I, I don't like the style of like go to this place, fight a guy. Go to this place, fight the boss. Okay, go to this place, fight the guys. Go to this place, fight the boss. Who are you, the werehog? I, I, I really don't like fighting the, the villain like multiple times throughout the level that that really I like how I like how we're almost done with this game and I'm, I'm finally starting to say things I don't like about it because it's very hard for you to, to criticize Spider-Man isn't it it's hard for me to criticize most things uh, the, the problem with I, I can look at something and if, if there's any redeeming qualities with it I enjoy it see I can I, I can um... You can't. You 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 look at pieces individually, and I can't do. That. Well, no, see, see, I can I can enjoy something. I can enjoy parts of, of something. Uh -huh. Um, not it doesn't necessarily like that doesn't mean I can. Uh, I, I, it, it basically I want I. I, I, don't think so. I can I, I I can look at something and see that an individual parts of something are good, but it won't make, make me like the overall package. Yeah. Like. It was it like Sonic 06. There's certain things about 06 I like slash enjoy, but as an overall package, it's bad. That's been kind of like how I feel about um, Amazing Spider-Man 2. I was about to say that because like Amazing Spider-Man 2 is my favorite Spider-Man movie because of all the Spider-Man stuff. I agree that the the Electro is very weak, and. Uh, Overall, it's it's not a great movie, mm. but the Spider-Man stuff is phenomenal, and I, I can't that I can't sing its praises enough that it, it ruins the movie for me. Like or, like it, it won't it, nothing else about the movie can ruin it. You already said it because you know during that during that scene you know, during that movie, someone kid would make it a wind turbine. You know what? I like how you and I can have like mature discussions about things, and then you just go, "Eh, but you like One Piece." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you two. <laughs> <laughs> this guy likes the Clone Saga. Let's kill him. I never even read the Clone Saga, but I know I'm gonna. I'm, oh, dude, I got, I got, I got, I got a um. I know I'm gonna like it. I got a uh, shout out to my homeboy Marcelo. He sent me a message like a few weeks ago. He was like, I'm really enjoying the, uh, I'm really enjoying the um, uh, Spider-Man commentary you guys do. Like, oh, thanks. He was like, but like, he was like, is a, uh, is one more day in the Clone Saga read that bad? Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. One more day is pretty bad. I mean, I don't. I don't hate it, but the idea is kind of dumb. So do you, so is there anything, with, with the exception of, which we didn't mention really, the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon, Octopus is in that, voiced by Tom Kenny, I believe. Oh, something I, do, I want to mention that um, in the 90s show, Dr. Octopus is voiced by Eflin Zimbalist Jr., who was Alfred on the Batman animated series. Ooh. Uh, doing a kind of... That was a good time for him. Doing a, uh, a kind of German voice. Yeah. He also reprised his role in the uh, PlayStation I think, 1 Spider-Man game. I think they were only like, uh, play him German. His name's Otto. So <laughs> I play him like the bus driver on The Simpsons? No. No. Hey, Spider-Dude. Hey, Spider-Dude. <laughs> no way, Bart, dude. This is for, <laughs> this is for emergencies only. But I want to announce my jump. Okay. <laughs> Metallica rules! <laughs> Your dad's right, Bob, dude. I have a bomb. 
He didn't call you a bum, he called you a sponge. A SPONGE! <laughs> I like the slight reference to have like um, holograms of the scorpion back yeah. there, and again like the 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 uh, the progression and the kind of inner story of the 2099 world is the best out of all of them. I mean, really, again, we said before, but only really 2099 and Noir have any type of connecting story. Yeah, that's no. true. So how do you like? How do you? What do you, how do you like this version of of? of? Uh, I think it's okay. I like. They, I mean, they they don't really give. A, this is a new character. They don't really give. I think a lot of the villains have that backstory already, and that makes them more enjoyable. Even though, like standalone, they really don't have a lot to do. So the fact that like she was made for this game, so I really have no. I, ha I have no frame of reference for her. Other than I, she, other she's than, a female Dr. Octopus. Yeah, I, I think it's fine. The yeah. performance is very good. Somebody's been overdoing it. Um, it is with this. This is it, it's a the design is nice. I like the I like the the tentacles. Mm, it's um. Oh know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it goes without saying that this was um. It's a game made for fans of Spider-Man. It assumes you're a fan going in. Doesn't really explain anything or anything, you know, or like any of the other characters, you know. Yeah. If this was your first, if, so, if this was your first exposure to Spider-Man, how confused do you think you'd be? Oh, really confused. Yeah. There, uh, so there's, you're telling me, <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be like Bill O'Reilly. So you're telling me there's two Spider-Man? <laughs> you're telling me there's four Spider-Mans? Spider-Mans. <laughs> and one of them's from the future. One of them's from the past. That don't make no sense. <laughs> Try explain that. <laughs> Mario eats a mushroom and gets big. You can't explain that. Did you? I did you? Like I saw that. I I, I saw. I didn't see it live. Is that an actual quote? Him saying that Mario eats a mushroom and he can't get no, big. No 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 no. Uh, the the Spider Man. Oh yeah, there's two Spider Man. You can't explain that. So you're telling me there's there's two Spider Men. I I don't I don't I don't. <laughs> It's like you can see the the sparks well, coming like, out of him. It, it's just like in like old Star Trek. You can you can destroy robots by confusing them, <laughs> by like giving him like a uh, equation they can't process. Their heads would explode. What was funny was um, I was trying to explain that episode to Aaron because I mean she knows nothing of, of Star Trek and and I haven't even seen that episode. But I but I had just like. You know yeah. of it. Yeah, I know of it. So I was trying to explain it to her, and I couldn't get the uh, the log the paradox right. And I was just like, "Wait, no, it's it's got to be no." I and I felt myself going, <laughs> like "My brain was about to explode." <laughs> The paradox is like this. Um. Ja, <laughs> <laughs> Remember that episode of Futurama where uh, um, Leela tries to stop um, the Santa Claus? The, the, yeah, we're the the Santa robot yeah. with a with a logical paradox, and uh, his head explodes, and they think they're safe, and then it it, uh, it comes back out. He goes. Good thing my CPU is is protected by logical paradox <laughs> resistant crumple zones. I, lo I love that thing where he's like, I can't believe it. Now they just stole the logo from the Avengers. <laughs> Spider-Man. Even someone likes to accuse me of megalomania. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say in the in the opening uh, cutscene, they do spend an awful lot of time showing you her backside. Yeah, they do. They, you know, Craven didn't get that. I don't remember. I don't. I don't remember looking at no Craven, but nope. You know, I don't. I don't remember getting a gratuitous shots of Electro's chest. Do you, TJ? Yeah, I actually. He's naked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I um. Doctor Manhattan. Another, another thing that I like about her design is that um. So like with Doctor Octopus, Doctor Octopus has um. Doctor Octopus, in technically, Use the slowdown time. Technically, Doctor Octopus has six arms. 
they count the, the his legs as uh, appendages, which is true because you know an octopus uh, doesn't just have arms. It technically well, yeah, he, has. He's called Doctor Gay because the four extra arms gives him eight limbs. Exactly. Yeah. Her her design. She has six mechanical arms with two human arms. Huh? Yeah. Look at the design next time. She, 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 uh -huh. Yeah, she has six mechanical arms with sure? two human arms. Yes. Are you sure it's just four? Okay. I don't exactly know. Really. You obviously looking at her body more than I was, TJ. I was looking at the octopus arms. Sure, are you pervert? <laughs> <laughs> what if I talk like this? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that uh, that tar strong voice. <laughs> wow, she plays a scientist too. Hi, Tara Strong. Where's your octopus arms? <laughs> Spider just wait a minute, I recognize that voice. Just snapped her neck. <laughs> I saved the day! Bad thing is I could hear him saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! I saved the wild! Oh, uh, just destroy that thing with Shara. Yeah, see? Oh, See, there's, 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 there's Hobgoblin. It's all connected. It's all, I like this. It's all connected. It was amazing. Amazing. It was yeah, just... look. Six arms. No, that, that's... Yeah, yeah. I, thought, I don't know. Maybe. But, uh, what do you mean, I don't know? Maybe. I think some of them were, like, going backwards. Oh, my it... God. Go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already there. I'm doing LP to FTCR. With me. I'm stuck with you, you mook. You're gonna get burnt again! What are you doing?! <laughs> <laughs> what are you, fucking stupid?! Uh, so that's... Three deaths, that's impressive, TJ. Two. Oh, three. <laughs> <laughs> Just go fast. Don't climb on no walls. I, I, I know you're a wall, wall crawler, but don't crawl no walls no more. Okay, there she is. Six arms. That was only four. I fuck God bless it. <laughs> then why is she called an octopus for then? Because they don't. It, it's it's arms. It's straight up arms. That that that's wrong though. Uh oh. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Uh, hello everyone, I am FTA. I'm Tron John. And as you may have noticed by the end of that part, um, slight technical difficulties, the game kind of froze on us. <laughs> we haven't checked this yet. We're hoping the game auto saved after we had completed the fourth um, room, as yeah. it was. As it were. So, uh, let's, let's see if it did. <laughs> well, he crawled down. Is, is that, is that's that a, good, a good sign. That's a good, don't, don't, don't go through the hints. Don't know you're oh, no. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. <laughs> there was a game, uh, one of the Dragon Ball Z fighting games for, uh, like GameCube, PS2, whatever. Mm -hmm. And, uh, there was a mini game that you could play in between, or on the load. Yes! Ho and hopefully it won't freeze this time. That ought to do it. Let's, let's hold hands and pray. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it worked! Hooray! Yay! It's a beautiful day! Yay! So you were saying, uh, Dragon Ball Z minigame? Oh, so like, on the, on the, uh, if you did that on the, uh, loading screen, mm -hmm. you, you know, just hit X a bunch, uh, Goku ate more balls, bowls of ramen. <laughs> That's good, buddy. And then, like, they just kept stacking up. So you could 
it on the loading, but the loading screens are super fast on that game, so you can just be like, ah, and just get like like One. five. <laughs> What? <laughs> I, love, I love that she, she was like, I'll kill you. I love that. Okay. They have they have the best interaction. Um This this text is kinda of tricky because you have to be really quick. Because that laser will get you. What I recommend is uh is go down close to it and then do a slow time. No, oh, it's true. I keep forgetting he does the Yeah. So yeah, again, this boss, um, first time playing through it, like, I, this boss confused the hell out of me. Yes! And, um, I actually stopped playing for about, for a while, for like, at least six months. Did you, did you ever find that when you were younger, if you got, if you got stuck at a section in a game, if you just wouldn't play it for like a while, and, and, and went back to it, nice then you have to, you have to go up to her and just come on. Here we go. Yeah, fine, it's always, always good. Always the answer. She's consuming a great deal See, of I, I, this confused the hell out of I me. Mean, you know, I, I think the problem was I didn't. The first, the first, um, that section confused me. I didn't get, I didn't know how to get to her. Oh. To attack her. And so I, I just didn't play it for like probably a good couple months. Yeah. And then I went back to it and I could do it. What about the earliest, the earliest memory I have hey. of that? Is um, Sonic 3D Blast? I forget which level it was. It, may, it was either the second to last level, or maybe the final boss. I just couldn't do it. They don't give you a lot of time. Oh wait, you get the <laughs> slow down. Shh, it's like talking to a monkey. And you have to jump over that and then uh, web finger. There you go. Now just pummel her. Press, press, circle. Yeah. Oh jeez, I'm gonna have to do that a lot, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> I always love it with these games where like the um, characters will be, the villain will be saying something while you like throwing them around. Yeah. Like they don't they don't break um, the flow. I also, you know, when you when you know what to do, this boss it's not terrible, but it's uh, what what takes what sometimes what takes me out out of games is when they're so um. Like they have a very strict pattern, <laughs> you know, and it's just like why? Why would someone as, as smart as this, you know, Doctor Octopus, keep doing literally the exact same thing over and over again? Yeah, you know, that, things things like that kind of kind of you know take me out of it. <laughs> oh wait, I did it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Oh no, a new phase. This was a part of the deal. See, so he has four arms. I hate you. I what? hate you a little bit. Why can't I quit you? Because <coughs> you love me too much. Uh, no shit. You don't need to game explain that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Derek was here. <laughs> That, I, I will admit, when I was at work, that gave me a good, like, ten-minute chuckle, where uh, I was like, No shit! You don't have to game explain that to me! Well, of course Squirtle's the best Pokemon! What do you think I am? An idiot? Um, uh, no. That's incorrect. Yeah. Best Pokemon is, uh, Psyduck. You're an idiot. Uh, yeah, I'm your idiot. Is that just from the Is that just from the anime, though? Is that from the games? Uh, yeah, anime. Exactly! No! Cannon! <laughs> what the fuck?! Why was that so funny?! <coughs> just the idea that there was a Pokemon cannon just like we laugh. I just had a, a funny image of like putting Pikachu in a cannon. In a can <laughs> Be like, FIRE! <laughs> like, you use it to smash purpose out of the bag as it goes flying away. Yep. Pika, Pika! I'm not scared of you. I hate Pika. You know what looks fun though? Detective Pikachu. Oh my god, why? 
I just don't care. Do you think? Do you think there's a chance in hell? There's no they chance. Danny there's Danny the there's no the chance. Voice. <laughs> they, they, the Nintendo barely listens to the fans as it is. Good point. Good point. Well made. Why don't you make more amiibos? Well, because no, no, because nobody likes them. Because we don't want to. Swing it. Swing the thing. Alright, you're almost dead. Alright. This might take a while. Kill that guy. Why aren't you killing that guy? Because I'm almost dead. Good point, well made. So as so as we are at the end of uh, 2099, I mean, I think I've you know I've just said it before that. This is probably my favorite place. That's some of my favorite levels in the game. How does how does the Train 99 world rank up for you? It's okay. It's I think okay. it's I think it I, I think it has something to do with the, just the fact that I, it's 2099. I don't care. Get for the ball. Get the ball. I got it. I got it. Throw the ball. The octopus lady. Yeah. You're right. I am even. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Let's get this back. Are we, are we not gonna talk about the fact that that literally came out of her boobs? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love it if that clear time just just went to like four minutes because of how we came back. <laughs> but that is the the end of um the world of twenty ninety nine. So thank we... Christ. Shit again! I'll thump you. <laughs> Please join us next time when we uh, finish the Ultimate Universe and beat the crap out of Carnage. <laughs> Carnage! <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Check out the mission returns. <laughs>